Uh, Beto. S tier. I will not be elaborating any further. You. Yeah, you. What did I do? You're like and subscribe. Hand it over. <laughs> okay, so I've been looking at some Genshin tier lists recently, and while the idea is fun, I've been seeing some slightly misguided takes, so I felt like I needed to come in and make the most accurate tier list for at least right now for the waifus. So before we even get started, the rules, let me just... There we go. You know, we just had to get everybody that's underage up in here. And if I find any more potential underages during the video, they're, they're going in here. Anyways, let's get into the rules of uh, what I qualify as a waifu on this video. All right. They have to be someone you can see yourself trusting and loving for the rest of your life, like an actual wife, you know? They can look good, they can, they have to look good, which nobody in Genshin looks bad, so that's not a factor you can really factor in for the most part, unless you might be Aloy, but we won't talk about that. This is opinionated, but your opinion is wrong. That's why this is the most accurate tier list. So you, you'll understand, all right? So starting off with Aloy, I will not be elaborating any further on that. We all know why. Okay, so for Amber. What's up, baby? Take me out to dinner. Do I, did I need to say anything? No. She would never betray you. She has a heart of gold and will always care for you. You can't not have Amber in S. She's pretty, respectable, reliable, and trustworthy. That's what we're looking for when we look at this list. And then there's Ayaka. For me, she's pretty cut and dry. I'm being honest, I don't really enjoy Ayaka, so she's going in B. She is rich and it'd be nice to have her as your waifu, but she doesn't have a lot of flavor. She's like vanilla ice cream and therefore vanilla ice cream is always a solid pick, but never the best pick. So she's going straight into B tier, maybe the top of B. She's gonna be like the example, all right? If they can be better than Ayaka, they're going in A. Barbara. Honestly, I think that's what are, I think that's a what are you doing sick deviant? I don't think she's 18. Uh, Beto, S tier. I will not be elaborating any further. Just kidding. I will. And here's why Beto is S tier. She is Dami Mommy. First of all, let's get that out the way. She seems like very honor bound, right? I don't think she'd betray your trust or love. If she ever chose you to be her husband, it's for good reason. And I just don't see her betraying you. I could be, I could be an L take for me. Um, I could be wrong, but it really gives me the vibes that she wouldn't betray you if she chose to be with you. Cause Beto just seems very fun to be around. She could, she's very strong. Listen, Dami Mommy, like if I was lazy to do anything, bro, she could lift the bed and me with one arm and I, I would never go against her. Personally, that's just not me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try my luck with that. She would probably crush you in bed too. So there's some, that's to look, I want that to happen. I would look forward to that. I want to be crushed. I would. I. I won't be able to walk again. Not my problem. So let's go to Eula, right? When I look at Eula, I see A tier. I was thinking S, but the vengeance talk gets a little old. I don't dislike it because once you really see her tell, she does care for you. She's rich, so there, again, you wouldn't have to do much. You could live out your days being relaxed. She's very reliable. I don't think she'd ever betray your trust, if anything, and any love. She seems like very reliable, very trustworthy. It's just that her personality, her personality would get a little cut and dry here and there, just a little bit. And I would get tired of trying to look for the insides, like the like the outside words is I'll get my vengeance. But however, the inside words is like, eh, I'll let it slide this time because I love you, you know? I don't want to have to read into lines every time I talk to her. But otherwise, she's very beautiful. Money wouldn't be a problem very trustworthy, very responsible human. You can trust Eula for the most part, if you like her. She should be, she's like teetering the lines between S and A. And um, I respect that. If you like Eula, I respect you. And then we get to Yanfei. Now what? Top of S. Top of S. And I will not be hearing any of you who are slandering Yanfei out. Because here's the greatest re- Listen, I saw a tier list, right? And Yanfei was put into C. And I ranted to myself on how. Listen, I'm going to school everybody on why Yanfei is the greatest and absolute undisputed king of S tier. Right? She is a lawyer. Let's just get that out the way. 
you're marrying you're you're married to the undisputed best lawyer in Leeway. Or just anywhere in general. Just one of the greatest lawyers around. You will literally, you can do anything damn near and get away with it. She will find the most underground rules and get you bailed out of anything. Just any, you can literally never lose a court case ever. She's pretty and she would never cheat on you. You know why? Because one of the main things she dislikes is divorces and legal disputes like that. Why would she willingly put herself in the one thing she hates doing legally? Hmm? Why would she ever cheat on you if she hates doing cases that deal with couples having disputes? So you can trust she's never putting herself in that situation. So you can trust her. She's literally a legal guardian. You will, you can never get in trouble. You will always win. If she's the greatest lawyer ever, you know the money is rolling in, so you don't have to worry about working. That's another plus. And our kids, if you have any, would be quarter adeptus, which I find a nice little touch and very cute. I will not have Yanfei slander when it comes to waifuness. No one's topping Yanfei. Literally no one. Give me anyone, they're not topping Yanfei. Money invincibility from the law damn near cuteness and good looks adeptal blood trustworthiness just off the fact that she just dislikes cheating in general so why would she do it or just legal disputes which would include cheating because that would become a legal op a legal thing if i wanted to divorce which would then become her problem which she hates having to deal with literally all pluses there's no downside to yanfei there literally isn't a downside unless you just hate adeptus then i can't rock with you move official the princess in Dave Ertelung, I'm putting, I don't, I don't trust, you know what, give me a second. She's 16 at least, but then I realize I'm 17 years old of making this tier list video right now. I have immunity. You don't realize the power I hold. Fischl's going in A. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I just think she'd be extremely fun. Just an extremely fun person to be around. As a, as a hardcore weeb, I personally don't find Fischl annoying in the slightest and honestly find her kind of cute. I'm immune to such problems from a Chunibio. I find ch Chunis to be cute. So I don't, I just don't have a problem personally. So, but if you have a problem, I can understand. This might be one of the controversial takes here, especially if you're an adult, she's 16, but I'm 17. I, I have the option to do this. I don't care about Barbara. I'm still keeping her here. I'm not looking up your age. Fistral's going in A because I just personally find her fun. She is a good scout. We would live in the Genshin world if we marry these people. We're not dragging them here. We're going over there. Fischl's going in A. I will not, not going any further into that. It's your opinion on this one. This might be the only take that might not be the most accurate only because it's age-based. Therefore, I'm immune. Some of you are not. Suck it up. Ganyu. Above Beto even. Uh, and here's why. She's very nice. She's very responsible. She would never cheat on you. I, n I don't see Ganyu ever doing something like that. She's way too sweet for that. Her shyness is cute. And because she works so much, she'd work enough to make money for the both of you. Not that you should leech off of her like that. I'm just saying she'd money wouldn't be a problem. And I'm sure she's one of those people that I feel like if you stuck around with her enough, she could become, she'd open up to more emotions. Like she seems to be kind of alone and that's why she just works all the time because like there's literally no one to talk to she's just working all the time no one really speaks to her on anything unless it's work related i feel like if you were to marry ganyu she would open up a lot more to more possibilities and even try to do what you like to do maybe one day she'd be out here chilling playing video games with you at night instead of working 24 7. trust me someone will fill in for your work ganyu relax chill out anyways hu tao you cannot be for I will not elaborate any further. She plays too much. I'm about to bomb this whole I can see her being trustworthy to you, but she plays far too much. I'm not trying to come home to my house being a haunted house. You would leave, right? And she'd immediately get to reconstructioning the house to be the most elaborate haunted house. You step through the door and it's just gonna be ghosts everywhere. Just a maze of darkness that you have to maneuver through with jump scares at every turn. The first couple of times might be fun. Shut the fuck. But after a while, Hu Tao, it it get it get it get a little much. She she plays way too much. Not that I don't love Hu Tao, but as a wife, she would do far far too much. 
I just got word. Kaching is 17. Therefore, I again am immune. Ah, <laughs> she's going in A. No, she's going in B. Nice paying job, literally working under Ningguang. So money is, again, not an issue. Her attitude, though, I feel like you could never win an argument with her. You would never win. She'd be reliable, responsible. Money wouldn't be a problem. However, attitude-wise, I feel like it'd be hard to get along with her constantly. So I'm putting her in B. Kakomi, she's cute. Know what? She's going up to A. Only because I feel like she looks extremely soft, but I feel like her actual attitude i feel like she knows how to put her foot down when needed i feel like she's she she's she's loyal i feel like she's loyal i feel like akomi is trustworthy i think money wouldn't be an issue i think she like leads watatsumi island so i don't see that being a problem she's very cute i feel like she's extremely nice i feel like she'd make you pancakes in the morning without you even asking just because she felt like it and I look forward to that. I feel like Kakomi is a Lord solid pick as a wife, <laughs> and I don't see the problem. Now, Lisa, I will not, I will not be hearing any of you out. Now, listen, before you all be like, oh, she's thirsty, you can't trust her. I wholeheartedly believe that while she is extremely thirsty, she is also extremely lazy. I'm not lazy. I just know to save my energy for when I need it most. And that is the one factor no one talks about when trustworthiness comes into play with Elisa. Where is she going? The second you I can trust her alone in the house. I can trust her alone in the house all the time. Who, who is she going to see? Who is she going to talk to? Where is she going? She's going to nap. She's going to sleep. She's going to go read a book and pass out in the bed. She's not going anywhere. She is so extremely lazy. She, re she would probably refuse to go out unless absolutely necessary. I'm just saying, she's going nowhere. Job-wise, I'm sure she'd be... Uh, she sh she's the librarian of Favonius? I think that's a good... She's more like the right hand of Favonius. She's like a wild card. She goes under librarian, but she's more like a wild card since apparently she's like a grand master mage level threat. And if she ever wanted to, she could just probably nuke Mondstadt if she ever felt like it. But she's lazy, so she would never do that. Like, bro, you can account on her laziness to curb the thirst down. And she'd always be thirsty with you. Like, she'd always be thirsty with someone. That person, if it's you, it's you. She's also very pretty and very beautiful, and I want to build her, but I do not have the resources to. And every time I have the resources to, someone else comes out. Mona. She's broke, but she's very cute. Know what? S. She's going at- she's extremely cute. She's- she is a nice butt. I can't lie. I wouldn't lie. I'm not gonna. She's very beautiful. Even though she's broke, you yourself could take initiative with her that future you, talent, um, her you future see- you her future seeing, and just take advantage of that yourself. And use your own future to change your future from her future reading. Therefore, you can make your own future from her future reading, making you money for the both of you, which wouldn't be hard. You could see the future at all times, and she, she's your wife. Why would she say no? It's her whole job to be an astrologist. I'm sure it'd be a quick little, here's your future. Anyways, I'm back to keep doing what I'm doing, which is, again, seeing the future in the stars. Like, it would be a very, very easy thing for her to do. And also, being broke, people be like, she will mooch off of you. A lot of people think she would just mooch off of you i believe she wouldn't because she seems so proud she seems too proud to do that she seems a little she it'd be embarrassing to her to do such a thing i refuse to think she'd mooch off of you her whole life if anything she'd do it once or twice and that would be when she really needs to like she has no other option it's fine it'll be fine she'll be the stay-at-home wife that reads your future and you can go off and use the future reading to make a profit with your own future. Create a future with future sight that makes you rich. Ning Guang. Honestly? Above Ganyu. And here is why. If she chooses you, it's set. It's ne she's never going to leave you and here's why. Everybody else either A, doesn't see themselves on the level of Ning Guang, and why would they? They rightfully should be beneath her. And she herself probably doesn't see any other guy or female at her level. Unless it's like, I guess, her own personal people, but we ain't gonna talk about that, but they, they, they don't count. Ning Guang would stay with you, and you, would, you, you wouldn't have to worry about her getting took by anyone, because no one else is on that level. 
no one she would see no one else on her level if she's if you're her husband you're now on her level because now they're both rich she's literally a part of the chishing she has passive rich income neither of you have to work neither of you have to do anything at all y'all could just slaze at home all day she would of course still work because she has like responsibilities i guess in the j chamber but technically speaking when it comes to money neither of you have to work for it especially you you could literally stay home or just stay on the j chamber because that will be your new home at this point you don't have to do anything because y'all have maids y'all have secretaries y'all have butlers you don't have to cook you don't have to do nothing she's an amazing pick no one will take her from you because they're not worthy y'all have money because she's a part of the chishing she's beautiful she's a girl boss she, literally she's the boss noelle i'm putting her here rosaria above amber almost yanfei almost not quite she is second place s and let me tell you why she's goth mommy dom goth mommy three things right there that's all you need to hear but uh, the rest you need to hear is you know she's trustworthy because she literally trusts no one she's not gonna trust anyone else except that your friends or people she knows you know are trustworthy she will always make sure you're safe you won't even know she's watching you can never cheat on her that's what that's what we're going to go into here she is so be she's beautiful let's add that on top of everything before i continue but she will literally make sure you're safe she was she's like a personal batman assassin anyone tries to make an advance on her she's going to murder them in their sleep and get away with it every time every time because she's so loyal to you and only trusts you and people that you know can be trusted but whatever she's an assassin assassin nun stop it stop it you're lying you really think rosaria would cheat on you and and you know she would stay up till three in the morning playing video games with you we're lazing around it's the weekend who needs to work on the weekend that's what i don't we're gonna chill rosaria would literally make sure you're safe you would leave the house in five minutes after you leave she would leave the house after you she would know where you went and she'd stalk you to make sure you weren't getting attacked to make sure you weren't cheating to make sure you weren't doing anything bad she wouldn't care She'd be okay with you having fun. She'd let you, she wouldn't interfere. She wouldn't even get in your way. But the second something bad happens, she's going to be there to make sure whatever bad happens doesn't happen to you. And that's what I respect wholeheartedly. I know she wouldn't. She literally stalked us through Dragon Spine because she didn't trust us. Because she was like, what is your business on Dragon Spine? Aren't you a nun from the church? She's so distrusting that you can trust her to continue being with you. She's amazing. You can't dislike Rosaria. That's why she is second place S. Like Amber is sweet and would also do all these things, but she wouldn't stalk you and make sure you're protected. She would protect you if she was in person, but she wouldn't She wouldn't go as far as to follow you everywhere. She, that's an extra mile. She would, and she, also Rosaria is very punctual, a very punctual person. You can expect everything to be done on time. She respects punctuality. That's why she respects Lisa. And that, like, if there was anything to do in the house and you left, she'd do everything in the house and then go to to make sure you're safe. Like, you can trust Rosaria to do anything. And that is truly a respectable waifu. Not better than Yanfei, but definitely very close. Like, you could interchange these two, depending on what you value more. Kuto Sara, B. And here's why. She'd be kind of bland slash boring slash very commanding. Like, you couldn't do anything in the house without her knowing about it or giving you permission to do it. And she'd be very all up over you, over every little rule. Like, she seems like the type of person to have a list of rules on the, like, refrigerator. And if you broke even one of them, she'd, like, she'd scold you harshly over every rule. And it, it, it would become a hassle. And I personally would never, ever want to wipe like that. Shenha? I like girls that try to murder me when they're when I make them mad. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Shenha is low-key the same as Sara. Very, very pretty though. Very, very pretty. However, she can bench press. Didn't she literally bench press a rock out of a cave that was the size of half not even half the jade chamber, but like is literally used to keep the jade chamber floating? Are we just not gonna talk about how she can bench press a house with ease? I would never want to make Shinha mad. No matter how beautiful you are, I'd take any of these girls any day instead of getting folded into a pretzel with your pinky finger and thumb. 
just because you were mad. Let her lose these red ropes. One day, one day let her just not have these red ropes. You're dying on sight. I'd rather not. Ball. She can't cook. Or ball slash I. She's a different person, first of all, at different points of the day. She can't cook, but she's very beautiful. But we're going to the Genshin verse now. She is the leader of Inazuma, the Archon. However, again, if it's your wife, I don't think I can deal with the whole murderous puppet half over her actual nice half. Like if it was just her nice half, I think I think it's A. If it was just A, she's immediate S. Just because she's rich, she's the leader of Inaz, she's the Archon of Inazuma. I wouldn't have to do anything. We literally could just stroll around town and everyone would give us stuff for free because she's the Archon. But if it was Ball and I, or even just Ball, C, C, B, C, N she, she, I wake up to Ball and she cuts my head off immediately. She's like, what are you doing in here? I don't know you, like foolish human, you're below me. Leave or die, like I'm not trying to deal with any of that. No, there, the amount of pros for being with the Electro Archon don't outweigh the murderous puppet that is very condescending and rude and a little mean. I don't trust that puppet not to kill me. I'm being honest, I don't trust it. I'd rather like, I'd like to keep my neck attached to my shoulders. <laughs> Jean, S tier. You're gonna tell me Jean's not S? She literally would make sure everything is done at all times. And then some, she'd go above and beyond. It's Jean. Do you expect Jean to ever cheat on anyone? I don't. She's very trustworthy. I know she is. There's no way she isn't. She's very pretty. Even if she's generic, she's pretty. Still, at the end of the day, generic can be pretty. Stop lying. She's pretty, respectable, reliable, responsible, as we've all seen. Very responsible, a little too responsible, like overwork yourself responsible. But the house will always be clean, smelling like Febreze. Just saying. You can trust her to always be on top of anything and everything. She is the acting grandmaster, which I expect would be a very high position, therefore a lot of money to be a part of, just good living conditions in general to be an acting grandmaster. One of the only cons I can see was when we're home and she just chooses to work the whole time instead of spend time with me. But I do be on the game all the time. I don't see the, I do and don't see the problem with that. I could, if we could have a couple moments together, still staying in S. But if we literally never talk because I'm always, on my technology she's always working it'd be a but i would love to hang with jean sometimes we can hang if she made time but she's s if we do hang together sugar otherwise known as sucrose i like to call her sugar just because sucrose means sugar and i personally find it cuter to call her sugar sugar's a cute name um sugar is an a tier look at her she loves to experiment and the first thing that came to my mind while she's extremely cute is she is a dominatrix. We get into bed, I don't think I'll be able to feel my arms and legs when I wake up. I don't think I'll be able to feel anything. I just know, you just know it. Look at her eyes and tell me you don't see it. Tell me you don't see it. I see it. I feel like she'd be trustworthy, but I feel like it's the Noel business where she's so nice that she might have trouble saying no. Hmm, top of B tier. Damn near A, top of B tier. Jin Yan. A. Very fun, very likable, very pretty, especially with her hair down. All the fucking hair down art I've seen, if we don't get a Jinyan skin with her hair down for free, bro, just the option to put her hair down. I know she'd look amazing. She's cute. She's awesome. Who doesn't like Jinyan? Actually, a lot of people, just for her game style alone, don't like Jinyan. I like Jinyan. She's very trustworthy. She'd, she'd step up for you at all points of your life. She would literally... 1v8 a group of people for your honor. If they insulted you even a little bit, Jin Yan would step up immediately. She's one of those people that would put them hands up so fast and, and actually win the 1v8. And I respect that. She'd defend your honor every day of the week, any time of the day. I know she would. She's that kind of person. She'd defend you. Just like she defends you with them shields she'd be making. As the only rock per as the only person who plays rock music, I think you would be successful as the only artist that people can enjoy. Just saying. Personally, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't think that's a bad thing. I think Jin Yan's an, a solid A. Solid A. Can't go wrong with Jin Yan. She would definitely be trustworthy. Yai Miko. I'm actually I'm actually struggling mentally on where to put Yai Miko. Because on one hand, she's so seductive, but she's so beautiful. 
I don't think she's like the most beautiful. I find Lisa more hot than Yaimiko, personally, though that's just me. But she's like Lisa vibes, but in Inazuma, but not an S tier waifu. Actually, she low key plays too much, a little bit. Nah, nah, I'm putting her in S because I'm thinking about it, right? She is the Lady Gucci, bro. The Lady Gucci. Chilling at the shrine, making bread. Just, it's a cushy lifestyle. You don't even really have to do anything. You don't, you don't have to do nothing much. A little something here and there. Making, making a good life for yourself, making good money, just being the leader, the Lady Gucci of the shrine. The, the best shrine maiden. That, and you know, you know the bed game is strong. I feel like she can be trustworthy only because she teases. I feel like she'd never actually advance on anyone. I feel like her thing is to tease people, but I feel like it's to fuck with people. It's just to mess with them. Like she doesn't actually have interest in anyone. You know Mia? S, and here's why. Bandages, check. Good looks, check. Bubbly attitude and niceness, check. Trustworthiness, check. Cause you know she can put her foot down when she needs to. Talkative, therefore good socialization with you. Check, she'd always have time for you. She would never not want to be around you. I know y'all could separate every now and then. Y'all, She would give you your space, but every time y'all are, are together, it would be so fun. And she would even, she she plays like Hu Tao, but it would be like little pranks that are cute. What are those little things on the 4th of July, right? That you like throw at the ground and they explode. She'd hide those somewhere for you to like step on and startle you, and it would be that kind of joke. It'd be a little kind, it'd be a tiny little joke, and y'all would both laugh it off. Fourth of July would go nutty with you and me as your wife. Yoon Jean. Hey, very pretty. I can appreciate her Chinese opera. A lot of people say her Chinese opera is bad, but that one song she sung at the end of like one of the Leo quests where the J Chamber was rising again. Yo, yo, yo! Ah! The opera she played, when it's just her singing, it's kind of out of place, I'm gonna be honest. But when there's like actual music behind her singing, it was actually kind of good, I'm not gonna lie. I was actually jamming out for a little bit. I'm gonna be honest, I thoroughly enjoy Yung Jin. She'd be nice. The opera is a good job. She's well known, so money's coming in. She's pretty. I find her trustworthy. I don't think she'd betray you. Yeah, you know, she's an A, not an S. She's like Jin Yan, slightly below, you know what? Slightly above Jin Yan, but like not better, like not that much better. They are definite A though, definite A. Kuki Shinobu. Know what? I will not be elaborating. I will not be, listen, I want you to hear me out when I say this. I level 90 Kuki. I have bi- I'm a little biased here. I know this is- this is the most accurate tier list and I'm about to give you accuracy, right? She is qualified in so many fields, there is nothing she can't do for you. There is nothing she can't do, period. She's also always there for you. She will always be there to bail you out. She's like Yanfei. She's not- she took legal classes under Yanfei. So low-key, third place. She's like Yanfei, but not. She can put her foot down so you know she's trustworthy. She abides by the rules. She's very smart and intelligent. She can apply for anything she puts her mind to and will succeed 10 times out of 10. And, and, and she's pretty. She's, ex she's pretty. She's extremely pretty with the mask on and off. I just thoroughly like her design. I didn't care that everyone was saying she was bad. I built her for triple EM immediately. My first thought through. And she was amazing. I don't know what you guys are smoking. EM build, do it now. She's very useful. Things fall before her and her re and her overload and Yelon plus her reaction. It, but this is not about that. I'm just saying she's fun. She can be fun. She's a part of a gang and it's fun. A fun gang, not even an evil gang. The gang is kind of just around to have fun and help people when needed and have makes plays and stuff. Like it's just very lighthearted stuff. Kooky? is very trustworthy, very reliable, very responsible. I mean, she has to clean up after Ito at all times. Come on, 
She's very responsible and you know it. The whole package. And she knows some legal things and bails Ito out of jail all the time. So who's to say I can't get bailed out or just not even go period because I'm not Ito. I'm not doing illegal things like he is all the time. I'm just saying Kuki top tier as a wife. You can always trust her to get anything done and everything done. Yelon can't be S because she goes off on her own to do illegal, illegal shit all the time. She's doing illegal shit at all times of the day, just spying on people. She's very, very, very beautiful. I don't know about trustworthiness though. She's so coy and loves to role play and has like 18 different personas. I might have to put her in B as a wife. She's extremely good looking. However, and I'm pretty sure rich. She she dresses like she's rich. She I mean, she does so many underground jobs. I'm pretty sure she makes tons of money. However, she's out so much doing who God knows what and I can't even follow her. I don't know what she's doing. I can't turn invisible like her. I don't know where she's going. It's classified. If I knew, I'd have to die. I can't trust her to not be doing God knows what behind my back cuz she so she plays too much murderously. I can't, I don't know if I can trust that. She is very good looking and money probably wouldn't be a problem with us. And I think she owns a whole branch. Didn't she have like, in her story quest, didn't she have like sidekicks that work under her? So she clearly has some kind of standing with somewhere to be a leading, leading her own group of people that literally wear a dice crest on their back. Like she's, she has a group somewhere. I don't know, but she's definitely someone I wouldn't say is wife material. He can lie to you and you can't even press her over it. She's extremely powerful. I don't, I stand by every single S choice. And if you want to fight me in the comments over any of these choices, there should have been an intro in the beginning of the video telling you to like and subscribe. I trust you. I trust you did that. I, tr I, tr I trust you scrolled down and gave me my like and subscribe. My like and subscribe.